слава! Героям слава! А зараз заспіваємо ой у луті червона калина. Так як Галина нам розказала, ми всі тут зібралися показати цілим світом, показати Великої Британії нашу солідарність з нашими рідними братами, нашими рідними сестрами, що боруться за волю Україну, що віддавають свої зіча і розливають свою кров за нашу Україну. Я хочу вам дати знати, що минулої суботи я мав велику нагоду разом з моїм другом Богдан Волочиновичем бути присутним у, 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 у столиці Європи, Бельгії, місті Брусселі. Ми там е, були на Евромайдан, там були представники Європарламенту, там був майор е, е, Барт Суманс, він так, так само е, член парламенту е, Ліберальної партії. Він підтримав наших українців, він був проти Януковича. Так, так само було е, представник члена парламенту Зеленої партії. Е, його ім'я був е, Бенуа Хелінгс. Він так само казав, що то є погано, що діється в Україні, що скільки людських прав порушив е, Янукович. І то мусить, мусить зупинити. Він разом з нами стояв. Разом з нами стояв. Разом з нашим народом. I would just like to say, I'll try to translate that in English. Uh, we have all gathered today here, just as a, a, a most uh, honourable Adrian Lawrence Councillor of Telford has, has been here today, and, and as a leader today, uh, Pani Ludmila Nod and Helena Torhan has said, we have all gathered here today to show our solidarity with our fellow Ukrainians, brothers and sisters, who are losing, who are giving their lives, blood is being spilt on the streets of Kiev. We are showing our solidarity that we are with them. Razom z nimi! Razom z nimi! Razom z nimi! Razom z nimi! I'd like to say that on behalf of the Ukrainian Youth Association of Wolverhampton and of Great Britain, uh, myself and uh, Mr. Bogdan Boloshinovich, We had the great honor last Saturday of being present at the Euromaidan in Brussels, where also were present uh, 
the uh, Member of Parliament of the Liberal Party, who is also the Mayor of the city of Mechelen, province of Antwerp, uh, Bart Summons. He, he stood up for us, he supported us, he said that what is happening in Ukraine is a disgrace. The, the, the violations of human rights against the Ukrainian people. Also, uh, a member of the Green Party of Belgium, Benoit Hellings, he stood up and, and, and had a speech and he also was shocked and saddened him at what is happening on the streets of Ukraine. People, representatives, there were also from Germany, Poland, Belarusia, um, also Netherlands. They were all supporting our fight for a free democratic Ukraine in Europe so people can live like we live here. God didn't create us for brother to fight against brother like he's written in the Bible, Cain against Abel. Ukraine is a peace-loving nation. Ukraine is a well-educated nation. Ukraine Ukraine is very passionate. You've seen lately what's been happening on the TV. Well, that is, a, in a way, many years ago, <coughs> during the Moscovite oppression, which has been going on for over 350 years, where Ukraine has been pushed on its knees, and many people, many Ukrainians have lost their lives striving for the independence of Ukraine. In those days, there was no internet. There was no YouTube. There was no television. There was no radio. What happened in Ukraine, not many people knew about. Millions died. Millions died through the forced famine, Holodomor. But today, thank God, there is something like they call the internet and YouTube and people can see what is actually happening. And do not believe, fellow citizens of Telford, what the Ukrainian government is telling you. They will tell you what they want you to hear. But it is all corrupt. How can you believe a president who is a criminal? How can you believe President Yanukovych from his past in 2004, which has all been proven in the ballot rigging, in the invisible ink? that has been used in the poisoning of the previous president who won in 2004, of Viktor Yushchenko, who then had to sit six months in prison for ordering the poisonings. This is the president that you want to listen to, Yanukovych. How can you give a criminal the chance of freedom and the chance of speech he, he's only concerned about his own welfare. He's only concerned about bringing bankruptcy to Ukraine. He's only concerned about siphoning money out to his own foreign businesses, which are also scattered around Europe and around the world. He is bleeding Ukraine dry, not just by money, but people's lives. Only yesterday you heard on the news the nurse that had been helping since day one. You will see it on YouTube. She's bandaging, bandaging up an injured Ukrainian on the floor. Sniper shot from the rooftops. Bullet in the neck. And as she lay dying, she got her phone out and went onto the Twitter account and tweeted, I am dying. And then she dropped the phone and she died there and then. And eight-year-old child shot. 17 year old child shot hundreds of children being shot we don't know how many people have been shot exactly people have been kidnapped tortured taken away like how like Mikhaila Havri look look what they did to him is that what you call a proud nation is that what you call a government to follow by example when they strip him bare naked in temperatures up to minus 20 degrees and then they try to crucify him. Is that what we want? Is that, can you believe it? 21st century. And how about Mitra Bulatov? 10 days they took him away, beat him, tortured him, crucified him to the floorboards, nailed his hands to the floor. 
21st century Ukraine. This is what is happening, my, my dear brothers and sisters, with Yanukovych's government. He's only taking orders from Putin, his best pal. At the moment, the latest news you hear, that they have found his personal plane, which has got a tracker on it, has landed in the United Arab Emirates. Whether he's on board there or not, we don't know. But he's done a runner. Also, Zakharachenko, the one who ordered the killings, the shootings, he has done a runner to Belarus. Why are they all running away? Are they scared of what, what justice might, might do to them? <coughs> As you know, since the 24th of November 2013, many have died and have been injured by dictator Yanukovych's government regime frontline, the Berkut, who consists of prison guards, seasoned troops and special forces who use brute, extreme brutality, have used tear gas on children and mothers, stun grenades with nails and stones attached, live ammunition instead of rubber bullets, and have orders to shoot to kill, use, use their batons to seriously injure protesters, i.e. smashing in their skulls and ribs, leaving them for dead. Berkut has also hired additional muscle. These are called Titushki. It is a government incentive. They pay you so much money. And because Ukrainian, young Ukrainians, they're not so wise, they get blinded by the money. And, and this is just like in, in the Bible, Jesus, where Judas sold Jesus for a few pieces of silver. Well, this is happening in Ukraine today. The government is giving people pieces of silver to go against its own people. Dear citizens of Telford, talks have been going on, but we've had enough of the talks. Talk, 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 and keep delaying what is the real issue. And they're talking about gas. They're talking about budgets. My God. Can't you see what's happening on the streets? There is more of a priority than gas and, and uh, trades with different countries. Ukraine needs to get back on its feet. The people need to, get back, need to get back to peace. The killings need to stop. They call us peaceful protesters. Yanukovych has called us extremists. They have called us fascists. How can you call people who stand up for their own country and who want, who are protecting their own countries, their own independence, fascists and extremists? We're not the fascists, we're not the extremists, we don't spill blood, innocent blood. It is Yanukovych's mafia, Yanukovych's government, they're the ones who are the fascists, because they're the ones who are killing innocent people on the street. They have no conscience, they're doing it for fun. It's as if playing an Xbox game, a PlayStation game. Oh, shoot here, shoot there all on the rooftops shooting innocent people. And they, and they get fun out of it. They get fun. Can you believe it? And they call themselves a Christian nation. They call them Christian people. Oh yeah, Yanukovych may go to church and took his few pieces of silver in and to show he's a Christian. But in the heart he has no God in him. He has no God spirit in him. He orders innocent people to be killed. Justice will be done, my friends. The time will come, the appointed time, when good will conquer evil, truth will conquer mistruth, and then our beloved Ukraine will be able to stand proud on its feet and be a shining example, not only for Ukrainians, but for all countries in the world where it is a violation of human rights. As you know, the, the proud history of our Ukraine goes back a long time ago. We have ties with England going back to 10th century when Yaroslav the Wise, ruler of Ukraine. During those days, our nation was respected by all countries of the world. Kings and queens came to Kiev, came to Ukraine. 
Yaros, Yaroslav's family became related to almost all royal families of Europe. His daughter Anna married King Henry II of France. Another daughter, Elizabeth, married King Harold of Norway. His son married a Greek princess. In the Ukrainian blood is royal family, European royal family. Ukraine has always been part of Europe. It's not a new thing, this, that Ukrainians want to be European. We've been European for centuries. But because of the Muscovite, Muscovite oppression and pressure from Russia, who knows and realises that Ukraine is Russia's jewel in the crown, they do not want to let go of Ukraine. And now I would like to say a few words in Ukrainian. As you know, Ruslana, the Eurovision Song Contest winner, Vana Tamotizny, Mala Zustrich, the European Parliament of Bruxelles. And there Vana Tak Skazali na press conference. Це не є революція. Це не є громадська війна. Це війна Януковича проти власного народу. Про що мене просив Кличко Чунич? На добити на Януковича всіми методами з Європи. Негайно вести персональні санкції. Зупинити протистояна будь-якими методами. Будь-якими розмовами, а так і Беркута зупинити. Провокація була Беркутом з дійсення сьогодні ночі. Беркут висадився на будинок про спілок і припинив його. Кличко просив мене наголосити на тому, що всі рішення Янакович прийме особисто сам в кабінеті. І все відповідальність лишена його на Януковича. Методи зачисти Майдану жорсткіші. Янакович відключив метро, заблокував дороги, інформаційна блокада телебачення і радіо. Янакович цілює Сирію, відключив всі структури і військові, і, пр... і, військові, і практично і практично вже вводить на звичайний стан профаху і спец розділи і по факту вже вводить по звичайний стан це є терор на вокзал Києва людей хапають тітушки тепер що мене просили обов'язково сказати що вони на прес-конференції влада є найбільший порушник закону сам Янукович є зараз найбільшим порушником закону. Те, що він застосував кримінал. Влада, яка порушує закон з 2010 року, не має права вимагати виконувати людей проти закону з слухянами. Тому що влада сама порушила цей закон. На вулицях Києва працюють професійні підготовлені провокатори, які проводять спеціальні люди, які проведжають під одягом майданчів, групи мету, метугувальників. Будь ласка, напишіть, що це діють методи Януковича. Це є війна проти людей. Я хочу додати, Руслана казала, що все це відбувається, мене вже все особисто не надиве. Не бійте свободити санкції. Він так про факто диктатор. Він не сакравна, він використовує всю зараз систему, всі військові, всі сили, щоб біти людей. Ми знаємо, що наказ вчора Беркут отримав вбивати усіх, кого бачить на Майдані. Ілюзії вже нема. Я не хочу сьогодні коментувати чи опилювати, але надстане час, коли я дуже відверто почну то покоментувати, що Росія робить. На мою думку, отується атмосфера ґрунт колодної війни, і в яку будуть тягнути всі. Це провокація найвищого рівня. 
i na domu. Ja bo o mężu się oni moje powiedzą, co do polityki Rosji. Ja dozwolę sobie zaraz zakończyć. To jest ostro, kazała Ruslana. Je prowokatory, je kryminał, je agresja od Janukowicza. Ale my zaklikajmy do mirnego protestu. Wsi lideri opozycji, wsi lideri Majdanu. Nie słuchajcie, że Ukraińcy je prowokatory. Što mi je radikali, či nacionalisti, mi nije fašisti, mi je patrioti. Mi hoćemo zberekti našu Ukrajinu i zberekti svoju nezaležnost. Jak što Evropa ne vede sanči, ja počnu holodovanja. Gdje je se razumije?